after the Chinese defeats and the opium wars in the first Sino-Japanese War, many secret societies began to form that specialized in hatred of Christianity, foreigners, and just, yeah, foreigners, mainly. And then one of the biggest one of these were righteous and harmonious fists, which would later be known as boxers. They specialize in mysticism and martial arts. That's why they're called the boxers by re- Westerners. They then formed a full-on rebellion in Shandong, China, where they were, in- where they were defeated by the governor, but that didn't really matter, because they then went to Peking, the capital of China, and launched an all-out attack. Except this attack was called off because when they realized that Empress Dowager, the person in control of China, actually supported them. So they just occupied Peking and put their focus on the International Legation Center, which held the diplomats of all foreign countries that China had diplomatic contact with and a bunch of civilians. But the country was getting quite nervous, so what was happening? So they sent around 500 soldiers, which they included from Japan, United Kingdom, France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Russia, the United States, Italy, and Spain. After the 500 troops arrived, they supplied for a little bit, being scared of an attack, and their scariness wasn't correct. As on June 20th, the boxers began the siege of the international legations in an attempt to drive out the foreign devils, as they called them. And after a few days, they defended them, so the allies was people from the nations that were there from launched a 2,000 shot expedition force and they were then defeated and they decided to take it seriously sending an extremely large force. Let's go into a tad bit more detail on the first week expedition. It was led by Edward Seymour who had landed in northern China and captured Tietzin, now Tianjin, very quick battle. But later he was defeated and forced to retreat back then with this much smaller force than he had originally. He had 2,000 originally, he had like 1,000 now. Let's go back to June, specifically June 16th, when Allied forces landed in the Otaku forts and began the attack. After a huge charge that occurred, they were able to break through the line and capture Otaku forts, which they would hold for the rest of the war. They had around 900 before the battle, and by the end of it, they had around 700. On the 5th of August, the Japanese started the battle of being king which began by them capturing a few artillery batteries, a few skirmishes, and then asking the British, can have some cavalry, and the British said no, so they were forced to launch an all-out charge, where they won took heavy casualties, with the Russians and British taking a tiny bit, and the Americans driving too late to actually do anything, but the American medics did save Japanese soldiers' lives. A day later, on August 6th, the Americans began the Battle of Yangkang, by attacking the train as they make such quick advancements that the British or Russian artillery crew was confused with those Chinese retreating or Russian or Americans advancing. So they opened fire, killing around four. But it didn't really matter because the Yang King had been captured. And on August 14th, the Allied force arrived at Peking. The four countries that were assigned gates were Japan, Britain, the United States, and Russia. Apparently France was left out for some reason. Anyway. They attacked Peking while the Russians then took advantage of the Americans and British being slightly slow and attacked their gates because it was closer to the location center. Turns out for them, they killed a few Chinese before themselves got stuck in Peking. The Japanese were not that lucky as they pushed a little bit far but were forced to um, stand and fight because they were stuck in Peking and the Chinese kept charging. While the British and Americans attacked with an undefended gate, broke through the line and made it to the International Legation Center on the 15th. Fighting raged in Peking for a few more months, but the war was essentially over. Empress Dowager, the leader of China, fled to Xi'an, while the Allies looted Peking and waited for her to come. She never came, but her advisors came and negotiated peace. And in the Boxer Protocol, all forts in Peking were destroyed. More trade was coming, and basically they all agreed nothing like this can ever happen again. Anyway, that's basically the end of the boxer rebellion. So, what did we learn from this video? Well, number one, don't kill Christians randomly. They'll backfire. Two, don't declare war on all Western powers. Not really a good idea. Three, well, I guess just don't start wars in general. But in all seriousness, thank you for watching. Hope you find this enjoyable or informative. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.